Alright, so in this video, I will show you how to use a mod to change characters in Resident Evil 2 Remake, in the story mode, fourth survivor, tofu survivor, very likely any future DLC modes that are released. We will need to download Cheat Engine and use that to do the mod. I am just going to disable my antivirus to make this easier because it is gonna think that this program is a virus but it is not I recommend downloading 6.8.2 just so that there is no confusion or problems while doing this click here to start download just make sure to close out of this questionable pop-up here keep like I said your antivirus is gonna think that this is a virus because of the way the program allows you to hook on to other programs or video games that you choose it to allow to. So when your antivirus pops up just add it to the exceptions. We'll run that. Next. I accept. Next. 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 You can choose whatever you want for those. Just make sure right here to not have this checked. This is one of the reasons that the antivirus tries to block it is because these sneaky little installs trying to sneak programs into other shit to get people to download them so they get money. Next. Install. Next once more. I'm just leaving those checked because I'm doing a fresh install. Thank you page. Alright. Now let's launch Cheat Engine. Next you need to load Resident Evil 2. Go ahead and start that. After that loads just leave it at the main menu like right here like it shows. It's a lot easier to do it when it's in windowed mode it's quicker switching back and forth after you're done the edits you can always just switch back to full screen I'll make this bigger so it's easier to see All right. so we click this select process highlight Resident Evil 2 click open it's not gonna really show any changes click memory view I'm gonna make this bigger Alright, so this top one that's highlighted in blue, right click that and click go to address. So, this address right here. I'm going to copy and paste this in the description and comments. This is the address for the, the US version. There's a different address for the Japanese version. I will also include that Japanese version. But for the US version, we will be using this. Just type that in there, copy and paste it in there, whatever. And then it brought us to this new address. It looks like nothing changed, but it brought us halfway down the memory list. We're going to right click the highlighted blue, click toggle breakpoint, click yes. Now it is everything's usable I'm just showing I'm using a controller right now as you can see that right there so we're gonna do it in the fourth survivor and then as soon as you click this it's gonna freeze at zero percent we can't see it because of the way the window is right now but it's frozen right now we are gonna go back to here and you'll notice this new box area we're going to click on RDI, make sure to not change anything over there, just once click RDI and this is the character. The, the character 4 is for Hunk, 0 is for Leon, 1 is for Claire, I believe 2 is for Ada. I'm going to put a list of them in the description or comment, wherever I choose to put it. But I am going to use Marvin and Marvin is D click OK. If you're on the US version, after you click OK, make sure to press the X. 
it looks like nothing happens but something happened after that right click the green bar click toggle breakpoint and then press F9 and the game will no longer be frozen and once you get into the game you will now be Marvin or whoever you chose to be I'm just gonna skip this <sighs> Now, you don't hear Marvin say what Honk says because he was not programmed to say those words. There was no voice actor saying those words. However, when he gets attacked, he will make the noise and sound and say whatever that he was programmed to do so. like the video please subscribe and give a thumbs up